everyone, I'd like to welcome you to our last session, um, last part of our devotion, Fig Leaves Do Not Last. And um, as we've been saying for the past few days that uh, God has created us to be naked and unashamed. What um, we've been saying is that um, those, that nakedness does not mean um, literal nakedness. It's just us having some vulnerabilities that um, that are in us and God created us that way and we do not need to be ashamed and today I just want us to finish with an encouragement from 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 um, where we look at one of the greatest ministers of the gospel and that is the Apostle Paul and some conversation he and a conversation that he was having with God and this is going to bring out that vulnerability that we've been talking about from uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 25 and this is what it says from verse number 7 um, even though I have received such wonderful revelations from God so to keep me from becoming proud I was given a thorn in my flesh a messenger from Satan to torment me and keep me from becoming proud three different times I begged the Lord to take it away each time he said my grace is all you need my power works best in weakness so now i am glad to boast about my weakness so that the power of christ can work through me that's why i take pleasure in my weaknesses and in the insults hardship persecution and troubles that i suffer for christ for when i am weak then i am strong now we've been talking about um things that we do because um, uh, sinful things but now uh, we just want to stand the script a bit whereby uh, you are a Christian and uh, you feel alone simply because you do not have lots of friends or you feel like your life is dull simply because uh, uh, you do not have fun friends you're not going to parties that you are, your peers are going through you are not going to to activities that look fun simply because uh, for lack of a better word your Christianity does not allow you and with all this vulnerability it looks it almost look like a like a weakness however like Paul says with this revelation that you have this new knowledge that God has given you that you need to to take heart you need to 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 realize that yes in this weakness um, I may not be able to make as many friends like I would, you would want to be. You might not necessarily become the popular kid in school because uh, of your belief system. You might not necessarily go to the best places, the best hangouts, to the best parties because of the things that happen there that are against your Christianity. But take heart because God is with you. You might want God to take away these things so that maybe you might have a much freer life. But God is telling you in these weaknesses, He is strong. He works best in this. And I am sure that as much as your friend see you as a boring kid or see you like you're losing it, uh, they might tell you that um, you have no clue what is happening in this world. One of these good fine days, they will come running to you asking you how um, how you live the life that you live uh, your life will become attractive to them because this is what God always desires he wants to use you as a light unto this world and for you to be a light you will need to do different things things that other people do not do things that because of majority look like it's strong but it is actually weak so take heart take heart take heart and know this as I repeat verse number 10 that that's why um, this is Paul saying that he takes pleasure in the weaknesses that are in him that in the insults in the hardships in the persecutions and in the troubles that they that he suffers for Christ that when he is weak he is strong and my prayer for you is that you will believe that in all your heart in that in all these weaknesses that the world is trying to point in your life in all um, on uh, in all the uh, on, on all this vulnerability in all this um, 
things that you don't have that the world is trying to put in your life, you will find strength in Christ. Be blessed.